Hey everybody, it is Joshua, the geocaching vlogger, and today we are up in the Great North. We're in a place, a little place called Grand Marais. It is a beautiful place, and we're on Lake Superior. And when I say we're on Lake Superior, like we're literally right on Lake Superior. Look at that beauty. Today we're going geocaching, and we have somebody with us, somebody you've never seen before. It is a person called Dan. Hey friends. Dan's gonna come with us. Um, he hasn't been geocaching very often, but here's the deal. You can see right here, you see behind us, there is, what is that called, Dan, a peninsula? Yeah, it's a little situation. There's a situation over there, <laughs> and there's a peninsula, and so we're gonna hike out to that peninsula, and we're gonna find a geocache. Now this geocache has not been found for like months. So the thing is probably buried, but that's not gonna stop us. And guess what? You get to come along with us, and that's coming up next. I'm a little bit concerned that we may blow into the sea and die. Okay. Uh, but it's always a good for cash. You know? Wait a minute. Dan, do you understand what we're actually doing? We're not actually... We're not finding cash! Yeah, like, they're like we trade in rocks for cash. That's what Geo... No, there's no cash involved. Uh, there might be a rock. Why are we doing this? For fun! <laughs> Let's go. So this geocache is called Artist Point. Um, I don't know why. I think artists came out here, drew pictures, but there's a geocache on the end of it. But let me tell you, like this is like pretty extreme caching. I'm going to show you some of these waves. Um, they're incredible. Really high waves. Really beautiful. Let's go. Come on. Buckle alert. This ship's been commandeered. I'm taking over. I'll be. All right, guys, so we're actually on the peninsula. And, guys, there's like a cool little trail that takes us all the way to the end. It's like super wooded and super beautiful. Guys, what an amazing place. It's wonderful. We're on this side of the peninsula, which is the side that's out of the wind. So it's a little bit easier of a trek. But what I like the most about it is that I feel like I'm deep in the woods. But then when I look just to my left, come follow me. You can just see oh. the city of Grand Marais. Oh. In all of its glory. The Superior National Forest. This morning that water was warmer than the air. And so all the steam was rising up off of it. And uh, it was a beautiful sight. This is really cool. Now I hope we find the geocache. But you know what? If we don't, it doesn't matter. Because it's all about the experience. To gain them I will do most anything. Oh, look at the ice! Oh my god! So that tells me that the waves crash over this whole pier, this whole peninsula, and just coat the rocks with ice. The rage that's rushing over me. All right guys, so we are at Ground Zero, which has put us by like some rocks and stuff behind us. And actually we talked to the cash owner uh, before we went out to find this, just to see that we could find it. And one of the things they said, it was by a tree that had a pink ribbon. And Dan spotted something. Check it out. Let's see. Ooh. Pink ribbon. Pink ribbon. Right there. There it is. Nice. Hiding. So maybe at the, so oh. I see it. <laughs> That was quick. That was quick. Easy. Dan, nice eyes. <laughs> Thanks. Kid. This is just as exciting. Cool. Uh, it looks like they wrapped it, glued it. Uh, it looks like a peanut butter jar, maybe glued with some uh, like fake Christmas tree to make it camouflage, which is great because this is the same type of tree. Perfect. It's got a little hook on it. Maybe it was hanging at one point, but uh. right now it was just sitting right there underneath awesome. the, the tree at the stump. Awesome. Guys, we found it right away. Beautiful spot, cool location. Let's open it up, see what's in it. And you will Close to cash. <laughs> I, see, I was right, there was cash. 
Now, if you've never geocached before, now that is not something that we can keep. That's a trackable item, so we're gonna take it, we're gonna move it on to another geocache. So you can't keep it, it's not real treasure. You will not see coming. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming along on our adventure. This is a prime example of a place that geocaching takes you that maybe you wouldn't go otherwise. A beautiful spot. The wind and the waves made it even better. So thanks so much for coming along with us. If this is your first time joining us, the Geocaching Blogger, make sure you click on that subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of our geocaching adventures. And another thing you need to know is Dan is an amazing musician. And so uh, go ahead and check out his music. There's a link in the description below. And maybe I'll link actually one of his videos too. So check him out. And as always, thanks for watching. Woo! Look across the lake, you'll see my shadow. Leaving in the morning And though I'll disappear Into the sea You'll always hear me roaring Through those who dare to tell my story Who dare?